Hi, I'm Dennis Isbister with Wild Fish Wild Places Television, and I'm out here on my home waters of Pyramid Lake, Nevada. Do a couple how-to videos to try to help you guys be more successful when you're out trolling here at Pyramid Lake or other waters. Today, our setup is the cold water, low profile line counter rail and the SST rod for the downrigger side. And one of the things that I've utilized in the last few years a lot is the line counter setup. Every time that you're trolling for whatever you're trolling for, walleye, trout, it comes down to being very specific. Size of line, the size of your leader, the weight, uh, the presentation, and once you start catching fish, you want to be able to go right back to exactly what was working. You don't want to be guessing. Um, one of the things that I, I do out here at Pyramid Lake and a lot of times lake trout fishing that other people don't do is I also put it behind the downrigger ball a, a certain distance all the time. And one of my techniques out here is I like to chase those fish that are on the bottom, you know, 30, 40 feet. You start printing those marks. If you're running 12 feet, 14 feet, 20 feet, a lot of times those fish won't come up and eat that bait. So how do you know you're right above their head? You run 20 feet behind the downrigger ball, you drop it until your ball hits the, hits the bottom. We're, we're fishing a big sandy clay bottom so it doesn't get stuck. And you lift it up five feet, six feet, depending on how your lure is gonna dive. Uh, we're using a lure that just dives a couple feet so we know that that lure is right over top of that fish's head and it generates a strike nine out of 10 times, when a lot of times if you're running up, up above their head a long ways, they won't come up and eat it. I'll show you what we're doing here. So we got the line counter, we got it on zero. We're gonna run it down here. So that's perfect right there. We're at 10 feet on the line counter and we're gonna be right behind that downer ball because we know we have control. If you're back there, 50, 60 feet, you really can't guess how deep that thing's gonna be. You're gonna end up on the bottom, dragging whatever, not catching fish. So we're 10 feet behind the downrigger ball. I'm gonna clip it on. And then what I do is I send it down. Boom, boom, boom. You wanna go until it hits bottom, bam, right there. You feel it hit bottom. Lift it up, one, two, three, four, five. You know you're there, get your, get your set up, and you're fishing. But now you know you're gonna be right there, right in front of those fish's face, and it's gonna, it's gonna generate a lot more fish for you. This, this works lake trout fishing, uh, here at Pyramid Lake, all over the place where those fish are, are relating to the bottom for structure. Just like that. That might be a good fish right there. I took all of about two minutes. <laughs> we just went over some fish. We're actually out in 60 feet of water, which is a little deeper than what we have been fishing, but we got to 60, started marking fish right on the bottom. They're not coming up to eat it in 20 for sure. We got a flat light on on that side. It's not catching fish this deep. We hit the bottom, lifted it up five feet, and just caught a big fish right here. This is a good one. The great thing about this setup right here with the, the uh, line counter and this SST, the new carbon fiber handles, it, it gets it so it comes right out of the downrigger holder a lot easier than the cork ones do. Um, with that, we're using eight and a half foot rods. It's got a lot of bend in it, and it has a lot of shock absorption for these fish. Keep a nice bend in your rod while you're fighting them. Oh, ready, not ready, ready, not ready. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Look at that fish, that is a dandy. And that's the difference, look how fat that thing is. That's the difference right there. And having the details down to a science or just putting stuff out there not knowing where you're at. Look at the size of that trout. 